Hey, how are we dividing up? Like, who's going on what? Are we that good or that cheap? Which one? We've come south of Bird Island. Holy crap, there's a whole ton of them. Ready? Yeah. A nice 17 inch southern flounder. Let's see if they come back or what? 20 inch trout, 17 inch flounder. We're out of breath because that was a hassle. Where are we? And where are we headed right now? This week we are in South Texas. Arroyo City, Texas to be exact. Oh my gosh. Never in my life. Over the next few days, me and a few friends are going to be staying here at a fishing cabin. That was nuts. We're going to be doing some day fishing, some night fishing. We're here in Rattlesnake Bay. And really just exploring everything that Arroyo City has to offer. You're going to see two of them. Oh, it's awesome. Holy crap. We're excited to bring you guys along for this journey, so stick with us, stay tuned, and welcome to the Arroyo City Fishing Series. Alright, how we looking? Alright, we got the live baits. We're gonna do a little uh, night fishing. And we'll see how it guys we are waking up bright and early to do a little bit of night fishing about an hour it's about 4 a.m. right now so what I do here is I take my spec rigs let them get a little bit of light <clears throat> and you want to work the areas at the edge of the light first. So just cast out. Nice and slow, you're gonna work it slow. See if anything bites. Come on, fish. Oh, there he is. Oh, got him. Little trout. Awesome little speckled trout at night. Go for the release right over here. Whew. Another thing I would say guys is try not to, try not to sling your fish on the release right back into the area that you're gonna fish because obviously it's gonna be spooking the fish a little bit, so. We'll just wait here a sec, see if we see a trout surface. Let's try over there. I heard one blow up over there. Yeah, not the best cast. I am starting to see some trout activity out here. Yeah, they're here. There's one. There they are. It's a little male. There's a release. All right, guys. So when it comes to night fishing, honestly, um, the main thing for me is checking the times of the highest moon activity. Um, you can spend a lot of time night fishing, but if you kind of just focus 
on when the moon activity is at its peak. I feel like you can maximize your bites. So I like to check tidesforfishing.com. And whenever I see that the moon activity is highest, it'll usually give you the two hour windows. That's when I kind of set my alarm or whatever and come out of fish. And that's tidesforfishing.com. Oh, it's a bite. Yep, there he is. There he is. These trout are very warm. Short, but nice size. <clears throat> All right, let's try that again. So like I said, guys, we are here at the Tiki rental cabins. And as you can tell, you know, if your question is, is there fish here? And the answer is yes, it's two casts in a row. Now, like I said, <clears throat> it doesn't really matter where you stay. Not that it doesn't matter where you stay, but you're going to still have to check those feeding times. You could be at the best location in the world, but if you're not following the feeding times, fish aren't going to bite. So an important thing when night fishing is to check those feeding times. But as you can see, this part of the arroyo, there's still plenty speckled trout here and there was a trout that just ate something oh yeah over here this should be a bite this should be a bite <clears throat> come on fishy fishy oh there's a bite there's a bite take they're here man they're just not eating come on there's trout everywhere now all right guys since I'm seeing fish and but I'm not getting bites or as many bites as I would like I'm gonna throw in a little bit of smaller uh, profile lure This one is not as heavy um, It'll sink a little slower so it's a smaller presentation Oh and sure enough there goes first cast We did switch to a smaller presentation. Um, these are not on jig head, so um, I don't know what these are called, but let's see if that smaller presentation kind of helps to trigger some more bites. All right, guys, today's video is sponsored by the Tiki Fishing Cabins in Arroyo City. Um, if you guys are looking for a great place to come out, bring a couple of friends, if you want to be on the water and close to the boat ramp in Arroyo City, the Tiki Fishing Cabins are the place to go. Now, is it the fanciest Airbnb out there? Absolutely not. But if you are looking for a place that has everything you need, is on the water, and as you will see in this video, holds fish on the dock and is close to the ramp and is a great bang for your buck, then the Tiki Fishing Cabins are the place for you. We were just looking for a place that we could rest our heads at night, um, had good AC, place where we can cook our food and was on the water and the Tiki Fishing Cabins delivered. Uh, we will leave the phone number in bio down below. Um, and once again, thanks to our sponsors, Tiki Fishing Cabins. Now let's get back to the video.
got him. release over here oh let's nice take yeah these smaller lures are definitely like getting it done this out guys check that out that's awesome so I think if you're asking yourself if the tiki house does hold fish there's your answer right there that's a double those are nice, healthy trout, too. Let's get these guys on up. Here, God, here, God, go ahead. Sometimes I like to just sit here a second, guys, and you'll see where the trout are surfacing. So, let's see. Yep, I right, spotted one right over there on the outskirts of the light so that's pretty much right where I put my cast let my bait sink a little bit and just slow roll it through that area another thing that's really important guys is to um, get something that glows um, I like glow shads um, these are like a little glow minnow rig, but if I haven't already said it, you need a lure that is going to glow in the light. That's, you can do it without one, but I think it's pretty key. I would say you're going to give yourself an advantage if you have something that's glow in the dark. Oh, there was a nice trout just right there. All right, guys, I'll just go over it one more time. Um, you're gonna want something that glows. I got these small glow minnows. Um, second thing is, you're gonna wanna check your tides for fishing to see what time of the night these fish will be most active based upon the sol lunar, um, the activity of the moon or the location of the moon. <sighs> what else? Thirdly, I would say is working the edge of the light and fishing slow do all those things you'll have a decent chance you i don't catch as many keepers under the light um, but you do catch a lot of fish now maybe if you wanted to throw out a piece of mullet a live croaker you might have some better luck um, as far as quality of fish but if you're just looking to have a good time and um, catch some trout it's not a bad way to do it Another thing I'll say is if you notice that there's fish in the area, you can see them, but you're not getting bites, downsize your tackle and slow down your retrieve. Um, I had to, you know, go weightless, no jig head here, um, and slow down the retrieve a lot to get these bites. 